All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today we're dealing with sumps. Last video, I was talking about redesigning this one. Um, like I said, it was something that the, the local fish store had. So, I'm going to cut to some videos that I took, do a little time lapse of us building out a custom one out of a quarter inch glass and kind of designing it um, in a way that lets me fit all the equipment that I may run on this one or, you know, if not, then it just is what it is, you know, but let's cut over to it. So here it is, finished product. Um, like I said, it's all quarter inch glass. Starting in this chamber, this is where everything's gonna come in. Um, I made this big enough so that it would fit a uh, reef mat 250. So gonna use this little area here to put in, you know, carbon, um, any type of, you know, GFO, whatever I'm running, you know, this will be, this is nine inches tall here. Water level will be nine inches. So when it comes over here, at least it'll get some swirling. It's eight inches here. 
it's gonna fall in this little channel. And that channel runs the, you know, the width of the sump. Um, made this piece out of some acrylic. Uh, everything siliconed in. Uh, water level in this chamber here will be eight inches. And that is for the skimmer. Now I'm looking at running a Reef Octopus. I think it's the Compact 110 Triple S. Um, it will basically just fit in there. I think I made this, uh, I've got about a half inch to an inch on both sides so that it'll, it'll clear that skimmer. Um, left between three quarters of an inch and an inch in here so I can put some foam in and then it's open on the bottom. Um, so, and then we'll see if I have enough room, you know, long ways here to fit the Neptune uh, ATK auto top off that I have. Um, if not, I may need to uh, get rid of the float. I'd rather not, but for my first sump uh, designing, I think this turned out pretty nice. Um, looks easy in the video to make, you know, working with glass. Uh, but uh, my buddy that was helping me, they, they own a, a glass shop. So it's, you know, years of experience with them being able to cut this stuff and, you know, make it look real simple. Um, this is a semi high end sump as I don't know if you can tell, but this front piece is, you know, Starfire. So the sides are regular iron. Um, I believe this piece in here is a Starfire piece. You know, it was, it was kind of funny when we were cutting everything up, you know, these are just, we made this out of scraps that were laying around the shop. So, um, but anyways, I'm going to let it sit for um, about another week. Um, it's good to let the silicone cure. You want to make sure it's fully cured before you put it in. Um, we finished this on Sunday. Today's Thursday. So uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend, I'll be putting it in and getting it running. Um, gonna experiment with some stuff. I have a blade refugium on the 350, but I'm going to put a blade, um, the freshwater light on this one, as you know, a lot of people are saying that it's, it's better, you know, for the, you know, growing, growing the algae in the, in the sumps to use a full spectrum light. I had my eyes on a Kessel, uh, the little 160, um, but I can get a pretty good deal on the freshwater blade. It will fit across here just fine. This is 15 inch. Um, I'll upload a picture of the design of all the measurements I used. Um, but it's 15 inch across by 19 and three quarter, uh, which is the same outside dimensions as the one in there now. So yeah, mo more to follow. We'll, uh, we'll get this running. Um, for now, I'm just gonna run a filter sock, get the refugium going, um, no skimmer, and see how the tank does. It's going through its ugly stage. Well, you know what? We'll just go check it out. Like I was saying, it's going through its ugly stage right now. Um, it's not horrible, but it sure ain't pretty. Uh, clam's doing good, an enemy's doing good lights are kind of turning down right now so they're they're uh closing up a little bit uh so it's around the side there's another rose bubble tip move to the bottom got a little recordia mushroom right there yeah i'm this tank's gonna look like this i think until i can get um our quarantine fish in here so which it's two rabbit fish and I may be switching up and throwing just the fox face in this tank and putting the orange spot rabbit fish in the 350 um, as I want to add a ras to this one as well. And I don't want there to be, you know, too many fish. This is 
55, between 55 and 60 gallons with the sump. So anyways, uh, on that note, hope you guys like it and, um, yeah, catch you on the next one.